What's up, dude? I'm Johnny T from the band Vulgar Tongue. I'm the bassist. And today I'm gonna go and uh, with you guys and we're gonna taste test some of these international beers. So come on, let's go. We're trying out the Welton Weltenburger Cluster, which is a it looks like a Bavarian something. Anyway, uh, bottoms up. Um, it was darker. And a little kind of fruity tasting dish. It was a good uh, six and a half out of ten. I'd uh, you know recommend it slightly. Now we have famosa, which is a Guatemalan a lager. This time it looks pretty very much a uh, clear beer. So we're gonna give it a shot. So here goes. That was uh, better than the last one, I'd say. Though it's a little bit more plain. More, more tastes more like a uh, ale. So I'd give it a seven and a half out of ten. So we got the Makona, which is a Ukrainian lager, and it looks pretty all right, man. Let's uh, see see how it tastes. Got a little hint of some hops, ever so slightly, but it still was smooth. So I put this also at a seven and a half out of ten. Now we got a uh, Zivik. Uh, if I pronounce that wrong, put that in the comments section below. Uh, and it looks good, so let's see how it tastes. Well, this uh, Polish beer, uh, it was kind of, it was a bit darker than the other two before it, and for that, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Well, we got Asahi, which is a Japanese ale this time, uh, looks good. We'll see how it tastes. They made a great beer. Uh, it's smooth and it goes down easy. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. The, this last one is from, is a local beer. Uh, owned by women, uh, Urban Growler. So we'll see how, how it tastes. Well, this one is true to its name. Uh, it does, in fact, taste like vanilla latte. Uh, I'm gonna give this one a solid nine out of 10. Uh, yeah, check it out. That was uh, taste test. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, I'm I'm Johnny T from Vulgar Tongue. Uh, kind of check us out on all of our social media, where we have an EP out. So please do check it out, uh, and we'll see you next time.